Hello there folks and welcome to another episode of Gaming and Chicanery. Today I wanted to discuss the Final Fantasy VII HD Remake and why I am somewhat disappointed but still hopeful based on what we've heard and seen so far. Now again this game isn't out yet and we've only seen a small portion of it but going on what has been displayed and said about it, I think there are some causes for concern. Why? Well, let's just dive into it, shall we? First and foremost, where the hell is Nobu Uematsu? This now legendary composer whose music is synonymous not only with this game, but the series as a whole, is nowhere to be found. And while those unfamiliar with the series may not be concerned by this, it is my argument that he's a large part of what has made this series so successful. Just for imagine a moment, the Star Wars films without John Williams doing the score, and you might start to get an idea of what I mean. Now you might be saying to yourself, well it's just a remake, why would they need it? Well Square has already made it clear that this will be an expanded world with more locales and more scenes. And these scenes and locations will need to be stored and without this master composer at the helm, it's my opinion that it will not go over as well, as whoever is tasked with this will be simply trying to copy the work and art of someone who has been with the series since its humble beginnings. A major misstep if you ask me. Now let's address the most jarring of the changes and the ones that has the most has the fans most divided on this remake, and that is the new combat system. Now, while I do think that the combat system for the original was revolutionary and forever changed the series for the better, it has become dated and was in definitely need of a serious update. However, I feel that throwing it out completely is a major mistake. Now, don't get me wrong, I personally was hoping for some changes, but to throw it away completely and instead go for a system more Anakin to Kingdom Hearts, completely doing away with the turn back, with turn-based combat, just feels like Square doesn't understand what their audience wants. Now, I could be wrong about this. Maybe this change will make the game more approachable to a much larger audience. Only time will tell. But we've already seen that there's still a deep hunger for turn based RPGs. Games like Bravely Default and Undertale sold very well and received high critical praise. In this remake, would have sold well simply based on its name and probably still will. So why one from what once was a series staple? Why instead make another Kingdom Hearts just with a Final Fantasy VII skin? Honestly I don't know. All I can say is I'm a little disappointed. But what is done is done and I don't want to prejudge too harshly as games like Kingdom Hearts and Crisis Core were actually a lot of fun and quite enjoyable experiences on their own. So maybe this is a good decision. Only time will tell. Now finally, let's talk about the other elephant in the room, shall we? The game being released in an episodic fashion. Now, I have some mixed feelings about this. I mean, on one hand, it does feel like somewhat of a cash grab on their part. I mean, most of us have already bought the game once, perhaps even twice. But on the other hand, I feel if it's done right, if they handle it well, this could really work out, increasing the tension of drama of each act, as well as giving them time to improve and address any issues that will certainly will come up. But at this point, all we can do is wait. And since most of us have been waiting for years for this anyway, I don't think that's too much to ask. And why I said... I do have my reservations about this. I'm still hopeful for this upcoming remake and eager to see the finished product and hope and perhaps when it does come out my fears and concerns will prove unjustified. Who knows? Well thank you for watching and don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.